This is an example of what police face on the job, a training exercise that I got to experience firsthand. So I don't know what any of this is. Box training is where new recruits are approached from behind. They have a split second to react. Okay, okay I'm just gonna need you to calm down. Okay, okay. Oh, you're in the right do position. Right Should there. I spray Go it? Ahead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, move, move, move. Okay, okay. The next scenario wasn't so comical. Put it to yourself, not her, and see what she does. Drop the knife. <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna hit me too? Ooh. I already want to hurt myself. I really froze. Yeah, I know nothing to do. <laughs> Once we see knives in play, generally there's probably gonna be firearm out. Yeah. Am I provoking him further if I go for a firearm? That's a that's a large debate. Today's training brought up all sorts of questions about how police are trained to deal with people in crisis. We don't want to hurt anybody. Staff Sergeant Scott Murray is in charge of use of force training, which includes extensive work in de-escalation tactics and calls where mental illness might be a factor. Where it's a critical incident, it's very tunnel vision. We're trying to get so the officer can get their thought process, their breathing down, to look at the whole picture. I think they are probably the most progressive service. Recruit Constable Joanna Chiro says it was Peel's mental health conscious curriculum that cemented her decision to switch careers and get into policing. It has been the most incredible experience and they're all here to help you be successful in the process. All officers must renew their de-escalation training every year. The training itself evolves when new situations present themselves. People who have mental illness come in yeah. and they explain, okay, I have schizophrenia yeah. or I have something else. These are the things that I deal with. This is how I will react. This is how I may react when the police show up. Hey, what are you going to tell him to do? He's dropping on the ground. What are you going to tell him to do? Stay there.